Okay, so here's where we're at. We've got two rows of blocks, um, and we have this ball, which is clearly going, our, our balls, my ball's going behind the blocks. Okay, that's fine. What we want to do is break these blocks now, okay? So to do this, we're going to have to watch for a collision, just like we watch for a collision with the paddle. All right, so um, you'll recall that uh, image sprites have a collided with function. So when two image sprites collide, we can tell that right, there's actually two there's actually two messages that get sent. One in this case, one for the ball and one for the paddle. We chose to ignore the ball message and instead process the paddle message. Okay, so if we look at our code for this, um, it is well that was kind of fun. It's literally right here. Okay, so um, what happens is we get two messages. We get one message where the component is the paddle and one message where the component is the ball. And then when the component is the paddle, the other is the ball. When the component is the ball, the other is the paddle. So what we chose to do is we chose to watch for, so this if then statement, this is uh, kind of an observer. Um, this observer is watching for a component that is a paddle. So if the component is a paddle for the collision, then we say, okay, all right, so I know that something collided with the paddle. What collided with the paddle? So we have a second observer, an if-then statement here that's acting as an observer. This guy's saying, okay, what's the other thing? If the component's the paddle, then what hit it? Okay, what's well, the ball? All right, right now, we only have a ball that can hit the paddle, but we were kind of thinking that maybe we could program like some power-ups or something like that that you can catch with the paddle. Well, if that's the case, then you would need to watch to see if it's the if it's the ball or if it's some kind of power-up, okay? Um, so, after determining that it's the ball, what, what we do is we made the ball bounce, okay? We made the ball bounce by changing its heading by 360 minus the heading. And then we also uh, coded this, uh, so this orange chunk here, um, is the thing that allows us to change the heading more based on the velocity of the paddle. So the faster the paddle is, the more offset we generate with the heading. Okay? So that's uh, that was what that code did. All right? So basically, we just changed the direction of the ball. All right? And so that's what happens if we're looking for the paddle. So what we want to do now is we want to we code a second observer. So we're going to code a second observer right here. So we need to add an if-then statement, okay? And this time, we want to be looking for the ball. Not the ball, but the block. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to duplicate the observer code for the paddle, all right? And I'm going to drag that down right here, just like this, all right? And then instead of observing for the paddle, we want to observe for a brick. Okay, so whichever brick you're using, red brick one, red brick two, red brick three, whichever one it is, we want to be watching for that brick, all right? Now, the next thing we want to do is identify what hit the brick, okay? We only want to respond if the ball hit the brick. If we've got other stuff flying around, we don't want those things to break the bricks, okay? So we're going to set up a second observer, this time, if the component is the brick, we want to look to see if the other thing is the ball. Okay? So if the component is the brick and the other thing is the ball, what do we want to do? We want to make the brick disappear, right? We want to break the brick. So I'm going to grab this heading component right here. I'm just going to duplicate that because I need an image. I need a dark green image sprite component. All right. I don't actually want to change the heading. What I want to change is the visibility. Okay. You'll notice that automatically broke off my addition problem. So we're going to throw that away. We're having some code issues here because of the, uh, the app is still running. Um, what we want to do is set the visibility to false. 
And now here, if you watch the program, whoops, I set the other's visibility to false, made the ball disappear. We want to set the component's visibility to false. And now I actually have to refresh my entire screen because of that mistake. That's funny. All right here you see, now we've got some block breaking going on. 